Eight minutes. I sat patiently with her, just the two of us for eight minutes, and waited for her to rally her thoughts enough just to look at the page. Teaching students with ADHD is hard work, and we have to know how to empower teachers in the classroom to endure that level of intensity and support. Thanks for joining me today as I share about how to empower teachers in the classroom. Hi there teachers, Marian Busfield here from Engaging Curiosity to empower you to take charge in the classroom by supporting you with evidence-based classroom management strategies and resources. Classroom management is often overwhelming at the beginning, but with the right strategies and resources, you will master the classroom behavior and pave the way for dynamic instruction. I am a faith-led, married, mother of two, grandmother to one, outdoor enthusiast, and retired teacher. My passion is to share what I know about teaching to support this wonderful new generation of teachers. Videos will include topics on my five pillars of classroom management, which are building classroom community, classroom expectations, differentiation and in instruction, social emotional learning, and classroom organization. Look down below and find the link to download my free classroom management checklist. Inside the checklist, you will find my five pillars of classroom management broken down into steps you can take one at a time. A goal setting page is included to help you get organized and prioritized with the needs for your unique classroom. Download the checklist now and set your goals today. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today. Let's dig in. I loved teaching, still do, but it is not easy. Working with students with ADHD can be stressful and overwhelming. This is the last of seven blog posts in my ADHD series. The link to the playlist is down below and I will also share it at the end of this video. This blog post or video, the last in the series, must acknowledge the unique challenges teachers face with ADHD students. Statistics show that every class has at least one student with ADHD, which means we are all in this boat. So, tools that empower teachers in the classroom. To work with students with ADHD means encountering multiple challenges, varying attention spans, impulsivity, varied learning styles, poor self-regulation, inability to read social cues, and so much more. In order for the students to be properly supported, the teachers also need to be supported. In an earlier blog post, I shared about a group called Raising Healthy Children, otherwise known as RHC. RHC did a case study which addressed the important role teachers had in helping students with ADHD in the classroom. Their success came in part from supporting the teachers as well as the students. Now hold on, before I get you all excited, although there have, may have been additional classroom support, that was not the most significant support AD, RHC provided teachers. The most significant support for teachers appears to have been professional development. So let's talk about effective professional development as we lovingly refer to as Pro-D and teacher collaboration opportunities which empower the teacher in the classroom with a Pro-D. So attending professional development that is targeted towards a better understanding of neurodiversity is important but telling us what ADHD is not enough. Of course the empathy understanding creates is essential but that is just the beginning place for the work that teachers need to do. Teachers need tools, knowledge and skills to be able to support students with ADHD effectively. By gaining a deeper understanding of ADHD, teachers learn practical strategies such as differentiation and are able to create inclusive learning environments. This may sound dry and even overwhelming, certainly not a quick fix, but personally I found as I applied the strategies that I learned, I had a far more dynamic, engaging and engaged classroom. I enjoyed teaching more. Was it a lot of work? Oh, absolutely. But was it worth it? No doubt about that. My teaching journey included a lot of extra professional development because I spent years in learning support. I tried to share that with the classroom teachers, but it is hard to condense a two day conference into the five minutes a teacher has when they are overwhelmed and begging you for ways to support. To empower teachers in the classroom, we need to invest in their professional development. So empowering teachers with workshops and training sessions on managing ADHD in the classroom include professional development topics that can largely be largely dependent upon the school, dis school or district and the topics are often not what the teachers feel they want or need. As a classroom teacher, I wanted to really dig into my math program 
but I was directed to split my time between two others of areas of Pro-D. Much of what I learned about supporting neurodiverse students was available to me only in my role as a learning support teacher and through extra university coursework that I took during summers. A former administrator who moved into learning support after 30 years in education was surprised to learn what he didn't know. Learning support teachers are sometimes bursting with training that they can't implement as deeply as they would like to. That frustration is actually why I shifted to the classroom. So if you feel you don't have access to the training you need, you may be right. Empowered teachers empower students. So how to empower teachers in the classroom? Two well-known authors who write separately and together are doctors and they have ADHD. Dr. Hellowood, well, and there's, you can click on his bio to get a snapshot of who he is in the link below. Dr. John Rady is also in the link below. For videos, check out the YouTube channel on how to ADHD. Between these books and videos, you will learn a lot about your students and about how to support students with ADHD in the classroom, or even more about yourself, as was the case for me. Before I continue, a reminder to use the link down below to download the free classroom management checklist. Once you have shared your email address, you will receive links to my weekly email with classroom tips and links to my blog and videos. The checklist and included goal sheets will support you in creating your goal setting to-do list and the newsletter will help you in, by informing your choice. For strategies to support students with ADHD in the classroom, uh, check out my ADHD playlist if you haven't already. These strategies are not all encompassing, but they're a good place to start and easily implemented. So how to empower teachers in the classroom today? As I mentioned above in my blog post, How to Manage ADHD Behavior in the Classroom, which is also a video now, I share a case study done by Raising Healthy Children, otherwise known as RHC. In both the blog post and the RHC study, they, the key tools for empowering teachers are proactive classroom management, which means establishing classroom expectations, cooperative learning methods, which is building classroom community through things like counting collections or STEM activities, strategies to enhance student motivation, student involvement and participation, so that's establishing classroom expectations, reading strategies, and interpersonal problem solving skills, which is a lot of that comes out of SEL. And of course, the differentiation of instruction recommended by Dr. Hallowell and shared in so many of my blog posts and videos. Specific activities I've implemented in my classroom or found in my post or video, the best calming activities for ADHD at school. And of course, your colleagues may be a tremendous resource. Empowered teachers empower students. The ideal is to have open communication among teachers who are working together, sharing ideas, and creating a climate that communicates inclusion and diversity. When teachers acknowledge the challenges, they can collaborate, share experience, and implement strategies that are evidence-based. By supporting each other, the teachers are also creating the supportive and empathetic environment they will need for this challenging but demanding work. And rewarding work, sorry, is what I meant to say. Teachers know how to empower teachers in the classroom and collaboration is well supported by research. The challenge in many schools is finding the time to spend together. Still, snatch those moments when you can, talk to a colleague and ask questions. Don't hesitate or feel like you should already know. Grab their tips for teaching students with ADHD. I can guarantee you that most teachers are happy to share and many teachers need answers just like you do. You are not alone. Let's talk school-wide strategies for empowering teachers. So to implement school-wide strategies, you are creating an environment that supports a student throughout their education, not just when they are in your classroom. You can advocate for more Prodi on the subject of neurodiversity, you can advocate for school-wide strategies and policies, uh, practices. You can, sorry, I was gonna say policies. You can advocate for more support and resources. And are there policies already in place that you are unaware of? These policies may be within your school, district, or regional government. The thing about policies is that they can exist, but unless people are aware of them, they are not always routinely enacted. Hopefully within those policies will be references of tools and support that you can access with which to support your students or to support your students directly. 
So how to empower teachers in the classroom to take the next step? ADHD is not something you can avoid. The likelihood of you having a class with no students with ADHD is very small, if not completely unrealistic. As heavy as that may sound, it is also liberating. Embracing that and seeking the best way to support students with ADHD in the inclusive classroom is also stepping into teaching at a different level. The doors are wide open to the wonderful journey ahead. Truly, so much of what your neurodiverse students need from you is also just about creating an engaging and dynamic in classroom. As you create a dynamic, differentiated, inclusive classroom, you will know how to empower teachers in the classroom to be confident with managing ADHD in the classroom. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now. I appreciate you sharing your time with me today and I hope you join me again soon. Take steps to calm the classroom chaos one step at a time. Please remember to use the link down below to uh, my free classroom management checklist. See you soon.